Hi everybody, it's tasting day number 10, or as the Romans used to say it, drinkers maximus number X. That's right. Okay, starting off with this stout, which was an all grain chocolate oatmeal stout that I tweaked from my previous recipe, which I was really happy with. And, oh, this was the first time I used Whirlflock too. And weirdly, the stat looks kind of clear. But, unfortunately, as you can probably see, there's a... Oh, okay, the light's proving me wrong. But anyway, I really badly undercarbonated this one, and it kind of ruined it. So, yeah. Also, again, it's not very chocolatey. I think I'm going to have to dump actual chocolate in it if I want to make a chocolate oatmeal. So, eh... I'll do something else next time. Okay, golden hour time. This is the one based on the Cooper's kit. And this happy fellow here is Dr. Smeadow's golden owl. I've already had one go at these. But um, yeah, as you can see, they look pretty much identical. So, um, oh, just, yep, looking good. So post that on social media. Uh, you know, this one got a bit better over time. As often is the case with the kits and bits Brew. So that one's a. I think I said, a, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, the Smurdo one, yeah, that one's everyone I gave like that one. Um, it's got the Rye Zing. That one is big crowd pleaser, I would say. So this guy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's a bit better than my initial review. Um, so I reckon he gets a one thumb. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, this guy here, though, shall we even bother? Uh, I think I can guess. Hey, I'm wearing the wrong shirt. Anyway, two thumbs. There we go. Okay. What have we got? Number C. Ah, this is my 100th celebration Red X Centennial Smash Beer. And I dropped the lid there, but that's okay. And look at that. It's like I'm holding up a torch of ready goodness to the gods of beer. And yeah, just checking out the color there. The Red X really does produce some nice red hues if you're interested in. Taste-wise, um, this one was a bit more on the multi-balance side of things. It's kind of kind of a weird malt. I never actually used Munich by itself. It might be like Munich. It's got kind of a raisiny taste to it, but it's good. Give it a try anyway. Red X malt. Um, but the balance was pretty good. I'm happy with it. So I'm going to drink some more before I rate it. And I'm going to rate it. Two thumbs. Yeah, that was a good way to celebrate 100, I thought. Good theme. Good theme. Okay. Now we've got a dreary day, uh, although the sun's poking out. So I'm going to have a English bitter because the weather and stuff. Yes. Seems appropriate. Anyway. So this is the one that I made from that, what was called a wet pack, which is basically an, an extract kit with sort of halfway in between a kit and like a full extract. Oh, it's also the one that I used the danger bottle on. Danger bottle was sitting there at... 2.6 um, barometric whatevers. That seems about right, I think. Good level of carbonation. Anyway, yeah, so the taste of this one is pretty much like an extract. Um, it's come good with a little bit of time. I don't know that I'd... I don't know. It, it's all right. So I guess it comes down to the recipe, and it's a pretty good example of an English bitter. Uh, well, oh, one thumb. Yeah, that'll do. All right, cool. And... Last one for today. Oh, just have a sip. Last one we got here is my uh, not a Cooper's extra strong vintage ale, but kinda. So here comes the real one. So in this one, last time I made this one, I got the kit from Cooper's that was like an exact match. This time I took the base and I just threw in some leftover hops, but I also wanted it to make it not as strong. So there's some differences, and you can see that they're quite different in color. Uh, my one's got 500 grams of malt instead of 300, but it was made to 23 litres, and I thought that would balance out the um, mouthfeel. As it turns out, it is still on kind of the thick side, like the high gravity, I reckon. Um, but it's it's really nice. I reckon I'm just going to keep doing this to get rid of leftover hops whenever I've got them. The um, oh, giving him a smell. The um, uh, the Cooper's one's an excellent beer. Uh, as I said, it is very strong, so that's why I tried to make a weak version myself. But, um, yeah, no, it, it, it's good. So I think it's a real ale and a, a pale ale kit plus a bunch of hops. So this guy gets two thumbs. Of course, this guy... Two thumbs! Yeah, there we go. So, oh, 
do it once. <laughs> I'm not greedy. All right, that's it for tasting day number X. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, I'll see you next time with some other kind of thing.